Well, he came to British Columbia to restore order and justice and became known as the Hanging Judge. Matthew Bailey Begbie arrived 155 years ago. And Bruce Kirkpatrick brings us this week in history. He arrived at Fort Victoria November 16, 1858. Matthew Bailey Begbie, a 39-year-old British barrister, spent 36 years in B.C., first as a circuit court judge and B.C.'s first chief justice. He was here to maintain British law in the newly created colony of British Columbia. With all the tens of thousands of gold seekers coming to the Fraser Valley, it was felt that some sort of... Uh, uh, system of, of law and justice was necessary. In his early years in BC, Judge Begbie held court outdoors in tents, cabins, stores, and saloons. In the Caribou, he overnighted in a shanty in Richfield near Barkerville and built a courthouse. Begbie traveled British Columbia by foot, horse, wagon, and canoe. He was able to walk hundreds of miles uh, from mining camp to mining camp. He really enjoyed hunting and fishing and living off the land. He even baked his own bread. But in court, wherever it was held, all was decorum and tradition. Wherever he held court, he um, wore his full regalia. Judge Begbie stood six feet five inches tall. He was athletic and known for singing Italian opera. He had a large house in Victoria, complete with tennis courts and an extensive wine cellar. He spoke English, French, and German, as well as native languages, including Chinook. His bench book was informative and illustrated. Not only did he keep extensive notes, some of them were written in his own peculiar shorthand, and he would sketch in them, uh, sometimes sketches during trials that weren't particularly interesting, I'm assuming, and other times sketches of some of the participants in the trial. Begbie was sometimes known as the hanging judge. It is a, an unfair label, not only because it was um, only used after his death, but uh, he didn't, if somebody was found guilty of murder, the death penalty was the only penalty available. He sometimes sought leniency. The other reason it's unfair is because it excludes all his other accomplishments. Accomplishments including the preservation of Victoria's Beacon Hill Park. Judge Begbie's last courtroom can be found today at the Maritime Museum of British Columbia. He served here as Chief Justice from 1889 to 1894 when he passed away in Victoria at age 75. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.